Well, now I want to introduce, uh, before, before I introduce Tom Farrell, Tom is going to talk about the use of touch toggles on his uh, new layout. But before I introduce him, uh, the owner of Touch Toggle, uh, Kevin Hunter, is here. And I'd like to introduce uh, Kevin uh, and let Kevin talk to you a little bit because Kevin starts his build along with his products uh, next week. And he's got a, a great discount that he wants to tell you about. Uh, so, Kevin, welcome. Hi. Um, yes, I, well, I just, uh, I've been kind of lurking in the background through the last few weeks. Um, I've got, um, I thought that people would be interested in being able to have some of the materials before um, getting into the build along so that you can actually use them that alongside. Uh, we'll be doing this for three weeks, but the project is pretty straightforward and simple. So I'll be mixing in just a little bit of uh, extra features that can be added to the control panel and so forth as we go. But uh, the, um, if you uh, have plans for a for a control panel, that's great. If you have you know drawings and so forth of what you want to do, it's a it's a good thing to think about. But if you want to just uh, either build a prototype that uh, for your own layout, or um, if if you want to build just a an abstract um, piece, uh, you can do all that. And uh, it's as simple as just grabbing a Sharpie and some blank paper uh, if you want to see how it's done. So anything from you know crayons to uh, finished uh, polished products um, are, are a good place to start. Um, and we have uh, a number of, of different uh, systems for different types of switch machines. And uh, so that will probably dictate, you know, the, the actual products you'll be looking at. And the touch toggles are the same for all applications. So when um, you're looking at the touch toggles, uh, the different styles and so forth, uh, uh, all of those match all of our bases. So you can mix and match and build up whatever you want. We have controls for switch machines and also on off circuits, block controls, um, animations and so forth. Uh, we do have a momentary type doorbell operator, as well as the more common uh, lock on, lock off type uh, controls. And they're just designed to be super flexible. And if you don't like what you did today, you can always do it again tomorrow. So that's why I was saying it's non critical what you build along with, although you'd need some of the, some of the product just to see how it's working for you. Um, Anyway, I will post lists of things that might be interesting to people. There aren't that many. Um, and I, it will all be posted at uh, touchtoggle.com uh, slash, let me get it right. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I will say it wrong and mess everybody up. Touchtoggle.com slash new hyphen tracks. So, and here, let me. Um, let me just show that real quick. Um, let me see, share screen. And uh, um, huh. sorry, it's giving me too many options. I'm one of those fellows with way too many windows open. Um, Choose the upper left, that's your screen. The upper left is your screen, the upper, upper left. Of all those video windows, the upper left is your screen. Okay. Share, and then... There okay. it is. And this is... Yeah, well, you, and this is the window, but right now it's pretty naked. It just says new tracks. And you can see here it says touchtoggle.com slash new tracks. Uh, new hyphen tracks. Anyway, this is the discount code. And you can look on this page at any time. And we'll also be, um, and that will give you 10% off at checkout. There's a little thing in the, can you see these? I, I tried to make it big, but uh, um, anyway, it's uh, new, new tracks 23, no spaces. Um, and um, uh, you can type this in um, 
in the checkout, it, it says next to the uh, subtotal, it says, do you have a coupon? And you click there and it lets you type this in. So um, if you have any troubles, uh, contact us has my telephone number and email. So just let me know. And the link is in the chat. Okay, great. Um, so um, anyway, um, I you know love to have people trying this out. And uh, if you have any special interest, just give me a ring and I'll, I'll be happy to jump in and uh, make recommendations for materials. I uh, just had a fellow ask how to spin a turntable in two directions and uh, using two uh, momentaries, it, it lets you do the traditional and kind of DC operating turntable thing. Mm -hmm. um, so, and there are just lots and lots of these. So it's a little hard to, <laughs> you know, I, I end up hand waving a lot, um, but um, you know, there are a lot of specific answers way beyond what can be posted. So anyway, and I'll be able to take questions next time. It's, it's, uh, um, but, and I will put some more information in here over the next couple of days. Um, I've just been trying to figure out how to do this and this came to me. So um, anyway, check in and uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, check in and uh, let me know if you have any questions and you know, it's, it's fun to watch it, it, uh, it, and the build will go very quickly. So, well, thanks Jim. And uh, now you can show, I hope somebody used touch toggles. <laughs> Hey, Kevin, thank you so much for being here this evening. We appreciate it. Looking forward to your show next week. Thanks. And uh, thank you so much for doing it. Now you're going to see uh, Kevin, I mean, uh, uh, Tom Farrell, Kevin, is going to show you how he used your product. And he's really enthusiastic about it. He thinks it's a, a awfully good product. So, Tom, I'll turn it over to you. All right, this evening, I'm going to talk about building a control panel. What a coincidence, huh? <laughs> Featuring touch toggles. Um, I just want to say that I'm um, building a new layout, as most of you know. I The old rustic buff and old gothic was um, 15 years in the making and one afternoon to take it out. Um, each week when I'm featured here, I show a photograph of the old layout. Uh, there's one of the freight yard in the uh, town of old gothic, ON30 modeling. There it is in color. Everything on my layout is scratch built, everything. <clears throat> um, so tonight I'm gonna talk about how I built this touch toggle control panel. And um, I just wanna say, Kevin, what a fantastic product this is. I mean, for years I would build the old fashioned uh, control panels out of acrylic or um, some sort of clear plastic and drill it out and mount toggle switches and, you know, just a total pain in the, you know what. And um, one of the neat things about this is, uh, as you'll see, is if you ever want to update the graphics or, update, or add a turnout um, and then add a touch toggle, it's a very simple matter. And something like this that looks like, uh, well, I think it looks pretty professional, but, um, it's really simple to do, it really is. And I'm gonna show you how I did this. Well, the first thing I did is I made a backing board to mount the uh, direct base eight output unit. Um, if anybody recalls from my previous presentation on touch toggles part one, everything gets fed to a direct base. That means all your wires from your Portis machines and all your touch toggles and your 12 volt power supply, everything gets collected onto a, a direct base, which I'll show you in a moment. So you'll see where this board gets mounted, but that's the cutout. These are the control panel supports. This is just MDF scrap that I cut out, and made these angled. You'll, you'll see how all this goes together right here. So this is, um, if you look at my if you recall my layout, the top half is the fascia board and the bottom is the cabinets. And I left this approximately five inch gap, six inch gap to uh, mount all kinds of electronics. This is where I'm going to mount my, uh, what you saw that first photograph that the actual frame. 
there's that touch toggle uh, eight output base. So you can see across the top are where the um, Portis machines wire in. There's two wires, um, a plus and a minus. Um, it's really irrelevant which way you hook that up. It, you, we'll get to that in a moment. If you want to run two touch toggles from the same, um, or if you want to run two tortoise machines from the same switch, like a crossover, see in my upper left-hand corner, I've doubled the wiring there. So if you look right here, you see there's two wires. I soldered those together. <laughs> they shouldn't be shining. I'll push them in a little further. But those the single output, as you'll see, controls what controls two. Portis machines. This is the 12 volt um, plug to my bus that I have. You can optionally just buy a 12 volt power supply from Barrett Hills. Um, see along the bottom here, these are where the touch toggles themselves, the capaci capacitance discharge switches get plugged into. Across the top is your output for your uh, in my case, the tortoise machines. And then here is the uh, adapter that I bought so I could hook up uh, 12 volts to uh, this base to control everything. The first thing I did is I went to PowerPoint and I drew a diagram of um, where I was gonna put my touch toggles. Um, just a simple uh, diagram. Um, with PowerPoint, you can tell it how many inches wide, how many inches tall you want it. And um, I color coded it, just the green is the main line. You'll see as I uh, move on here. This is the location of the touch toggles. Um, they are um, three quarters of an inch square. And I, I, did, I did have a grid on here, so I lined them up in, initially with a, a grid that's turned off in this particular slide. But these uh, touch toggles, this is where the touch toggles will go. I wanted to make sure that my diagram would actually uh, fit the uh, touch toggles. Now I've removed the diagram that showed where the touch toggles are, and I've added labels to. Um, so you can see I have main line east, main line west, because I have a dual track main line. This is siding number one, two, and three, and this goes to the mining operation. So this is a, a graphic and um, just all done on uh, PowerPoint. This is the actual touch toggle itself that gets mounted to the uh, back of what you just saw. And I'll show you how I did that. A little blurry here but they're what's called capacitive discharge switches. They work like magic. So you just touch the fr front of the glass and they work. It's just amazing technology. And this is all there is to it. I just use painter's tape. Um, I taped these on the back of my graphic that you saw. This frame here, I went to Hobby Lobby for roughly $10. I bought this picture frame that has a piece of glass in it. And uh, they have them in white or black. Uh, they have them in all different colors, but I wanted white. I just taped them on there. And uh, this shows the flexibility. If I ever wanna add, add a turnout, I can pull all this off, uh, put in a new graphic, tape everything back on, or simply, um, uh, carefully, if you know, nothing gets permanently glued to anything. There's extreme flexibility in the design here. And it's so, so much better than the old school drilling acrylic or plexiglass and mounting toggle switches. Oh my God, I'll never do that again, ever. <laughs> this is with the cardboard uh, backing from, you know, from the, the, uh, what came with the frame here, and then the wires are just sticking out the bottom. I was going to cut this out, but they seem to work just fine. Uh, there's enough slop in this cardboard that I was able just to have those wires come out. 
and there she is in place and there it is all lit up and um you know you simply touch you know the general vicinity here and it switches from green to red there's the uh installation um I, I just think it looks so cool i mean it just it just looks like it's looks like it's commercial professional you know and there's nothing to it you saw the the wood that i used was simply mdf scrap for those side panels a piece of masonite in the back to mount the uh controls the, the direct base and then uh here we are with uh you know the reds the green it um uh, it's really slick i'm just really excited about this uh, product and um uh, you know, I'm such a spoke, uh, uh, just a real spokesperson for this technology. It just goes together like magic, works like magic. And um, it just, to me, it looks out of this world. So what do you all think of that? Impressive. No question about it. That looks pretty Fantastic. cool. A uh, question on your layout. Um, on the two crossovers, I take they're both operated by a single touch toggle throws both turnouts for the crossover so it's either set to cross over or set to go straight on so you don't need that's two correct touch toggles. that's correct and and the, and with respect to the lighting green always means straight on and red means diverted <clears throat> correct that's, that's your choice <laughs> yeah i i can see where this one i have to adjust so I'll go back and move this one up. I mean, this was finished just in time for tonight. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, I mean, you you press this one toggle right here, and it throws the turnout. You, uh, Tom, you're not sharing anymore. Oh, so sorry. you want to share? You have to share again. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's see here. I thought we were into discussion. Okay. Oh, we'll use that one. There. Yeah, green means go. And um, this is the first pass. You know, I can, yeah, one touch toggle can control multiple um, Fortis machines just simply by uh, right here. If you see these two yellow, there's two, this first touch toggle controls two tortoise machines. I don't have the rest hooked up on the, in this photograph. That answers the question, yeah. Yep, it covered it. Looks like the Starship Enterprise, touch the yeah. screens, no switches. That's the truth, I was, I texted, um, Friend of mine, Tim Molina, who's a model railroader. Many of you may know him. And that's exactly what I said. I said, this is like, looks like a Star Trek set. <laughs> it's just a fantastic product. I can't say enough about it. And, uh, you know, maybe that'll earn me a discount, even greater discount with Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I question. Uh... Yeah, um, I, I use those on my layout uh, as well, and they're just fantastic and easy to use. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. I have a question on the output. Uh, you've got obviously the touch toggle lights up for green or red, or I guess you could have yellow. Um, can you also hook it up to your signals on the layout, like the actual signals on the track? Yes, we have a device for that. Um, oh, okay. So referred to as an LED driver. Yeah. And it plugs in between the base and the toggle and just gives you little screw terminals to to take no. off. Okay. Good, good. Thanks, Kevin. Sure. You can also take it off your tortoise machine too. Yeah. But that's a straight mm -hmm. 12 volts. It's not a reduction. Uh, Kevin, if oh, you okay. if you buy your device, Kevin, does it do a reduction for the uh it still needs, a, you always need a resistor. Um, okay. Unless right. you have a, a, a current delivery system, which is weird. Uh, but uh, ours actually does come, 
ours actually does drive at five volts. And uh, I find most commercial signals to be a little bright. Uh, we, we include a, a lower value resistor for the five volt use, but most people just use the, usually it's a thousand ohms uh, comes with the signals and they look fine uh, with the five volt driver. The other thing I want to say is just how fast you can put together a control panel. The old school control panels where you have to get plexiglass and masonite and drill holes and mount switches and solder and fool around. I've did it for years and years and years. This literally goes together in a half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> if that, you know, it's just the, t the longest thing is drawing up the PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the rest of it falls together. That's how well engineered it is. It just, you know, you can't, it's so, it's basically error proof, goof proof. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind, if, is it okay if I share a picture here? Cause, oh, go ahead. Um, On my show. <laughs> no, no, I just want to show folks, uh, you can daisy chain the controllers. Uh, this is the back of my switch panel, and I've got 17 switches that are running off of the one panel. So again, like Tom said, it's just, it's so simple and so clean. And mm -hmm. I did the same thing that Tom did. It's a, it's a frame from Hobby Lobby. And I just, I actually made a little board up and mounted the, these uh, controllers right to the back of the frame. You're, you were showing the power sharing capability of this by having those sitting next to each other. Right. They have pl plugs and pins on the ends. So yeah. if you just sit them next to each other, you can use a single power supply for several bases across. Mm -hmm. uh, just one more thing to cut the wiring. If, if I could uh, offer something, I'm Jim Taverna. I worked... Uh, with Kevin quite a bit, and I have a large uh, yard, and I had a problem in that I wanted to control the turnouts from two different places so and have the operators know that the other fellow was changing a switch. And so I'll have to get you a photograph for next time, but uh, the one benefit of these switches is that you can have a uh, parallel lighting system such that they'll light up on two different panels or more. And so for me, uh, I have the two panels are about uh, 20 feet apart and uh, it, it covers the ladder in a large O scale yard and plus the exit of the yard out onto the main. And it really has simplified my life uh, after a few teething problems uh, to have everybody know exactly how the turnouts are thrown. So it's really uh, quite um, beneficial in doing that. And if that wasn't clear, that's completely functional at both ends. You can yes. touch the toggles at either end and they work. So, you know, when I, um, when I started this new layout, I said I was just going to make no compromises and use the latest technology. So I switched from analog to DCC and I found these touch toggles. I mean, you guys should, I mean, I'm not suggesting anybody fears the technology, but you really ought to consider these. These touch toggles and DCC is just sweet, you know. It's really simple, you know. I'm pleased okay. with that. Yep. Kevin, I okay. look forward to uh, to your segment starting next week, where you can show people how to uh, really use these systems. Yeah, I'm. I'm. As I said, I'm not quite sure how to use three weeks <laughs> clinics to do them, but but. I do have enough new products that need a little explaining that may be of interest that uh, uh, a couple of which are really revolutionary. So I think you, I think you saw tonight the questions and the comments that you'll be getting, and, and I don't think you'll have any trouble filling it out. Well, our, our latest controller, you pick the track and it lines up all the switches for that track. So it's, it's, you know, just one step beyond kind of thing. And it, yeah. can you, if you are already set up, you can use all the existing parts and just add this thing in yeah. and uh, run your yard with a single touch for each track. So um, I'm, I'm very pleased with that. So. so Tom, thank you so much for sharing what you've done with your layout tonight. We'll look forward to seeing you next week.
Yep. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Kevin. You.